The law of attraction is not just something. A lot of people hear you, oh, I'm going to use the law of attraction, but they really don't know how to utilize it the proper way. And it's a real powerful tool to use in your life. And if you really truly understand the law of attraction, you're going to make your life so much easier. It goes along, though, with the reprogramming process. Now, you can make it work by accident here or there, spot it. But if you want it to work consistently, you got to continue to reprogram your DNA. And then you have to understand one other thing, quantum entanglement. But in quantum entanglement, which is something in real physics, uh, it's where you use something called parabolic down conversion to get two photons or two particles on the same frequency. So once you get two particles on the same frequency, you could take one particle to the other end of the universe if you had the capability of getting it there. And the particle that's local to you, you can change the information in it, put data on it, and the other particle will change instantaneously, bypassing the speed of light. And scientists now have discovered that the brain, the neurons in the brain, phase in and out of the third dimensional reality. So your neurons, your, between your synapses, are actually phasing in and out of the third dimension. Where are they going? They're communicating with other realms and other dimensions, syncing and, and, and quantum entangling with particles and thoughts in other places. So when you understand this, now you go, oh wow. When you look into the ancient tablets, especially in the Emerald Tablet, which is why I wrote my book, Compendium of the Emerald Tablets, the biggest part of my book is where Thoth is talking about the power of manifestation through meditation and thought. And he's literally talking about how to sync with the universal consciousness through something else, which I've labeled the Christ consciousness. So the Christ consciousness doesn't mean you're syncing up with Jesus Christ. What it means is you're th syncing up with the idea, the concept of this higher level of consciousness that exists out there in space time. So when you yourself are aligning yourself properly with the universe, vibrating on a high frequency. And what does that mean, vibrating on a high frequency? That means you're thinking with love, not thinking with hate. You're thinking with power and love, not fear and weakness. And when you do that, that puts your DNA scientifically at a high frequency. This has been done in laboratories. They've taken DNA, they've analyzed a person's thought patterns through caps that they put on with electrodes, and they've got them looking at photos. Photos that show people getting murdered, then a photo of a field of flowers then a photo of somebody hugging a child, and then a photo of somebody getting beat up. And they analyze those thought patterns in a laboratory, and this is how they learn this. So at specific times when you're feeling the, method, the mode of fear, the DNA, there's a frequency that oscillates over your DNA, it covers a very wide band, and it covers less of your DNA. In a high frequency love mode, the frequency is, oscillates much faster, and they're hence much closer together, and more of the frequency is touching your DNA strand, which means you're operating at a high frequency. This is real science. Now I'm talking about real, peer-reviewed quantum physics and quantum mechanics. Okay? So now because I'm doing that, and I'm feeling this love frequency, this vibration and happiness in the meditation, I'm now operating at a high level. Now I'm syncing up with the Christ consciousness. The Christ consciousness is going to carry that photonic or that, that particle energy to sync up with the universal consciousness on a quantum entanglement. And now I'm quantum entangled directly with the flower of life, which is the face of God. And now what happens is, just like in standard physics, when you have a globe in space, and you see space warps around the globe because of the theory of relativity, Einstein's theory of relativity, now replace the globe, Earth, with your, with your consciousness, with your mind. Your mind is literally, now that it's quantum entangled, it's warping space-time. It's warping the ether of space itself. And now things that you're looking for are falling. Because what happens to a, a body in space that warps space? Things fall toward it. Now the things that you want in life are starting to fall towards you. You're creating your own quantum entanglement. You're creating a law of attraction. Now you'd have things falling directly towards you. And this is how the law of attraction works.